Hello, good morning everyone, Mr. Wong here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at the new Leica 9mm f1.7 lens for Michael Forford's cameras. This is one of the lens that I have been waiting for a very long time for many reasons. One of the reasons is if I want to do a bit of rocking, then I usually would grab one of the 12mm lens. There are so many of them available for Michael Forford's cameras. So, 12mm lens works fine with a camera like GH6 which has the full width 4K mode but if I am using my other camera like my G85 which has a bit of crop when you are shooting in 4K mode especially if I want to turn on the electronic image stabilization then the image become a little bit too tight at least for my taste so I have been wanting to have something a little bit wider than 12mm for some reason with so many lenses available for Michael Forford's cameras there really isn't one that is wider than 12mm that is also fast and compact so I've been saying on this channel a few times that I really want to see a 10mm lens or something even slightly wider that is fast and compact so this 9mm f1.7 lens filled in one of those last remaining gap in the Michael Forward lens lineup. It could be a great lens for people who want to do vlogging because it is wide angle, it is very compact, lightweight, and also it is fast f1.7 aperture which makes it great if you want to shoot under low light and also it can create a bit of foreground background separation if you want to have that a little bit shallow depth of field look for your video but there are also many other reasons why I want to see a lens like this so now let's head back to my place and we will continue to talk about this lens and I will share with you some of my test results as well Okay, let's continue the review and we will have a look at the design and build quality of the lens first. The first thing I was quite surprised when I received the sample was the size of the box. Maybe because the last few Leica lenses that I reviewed, they all comes in pretty big boxes. So when I first saw the box of this Leica 9mm lens, I was really surprised it is such a small box. And when I took the lens out of the box, not surprisingly, the lens is also very compact. The weight of this lens is around 130 gram, which is really good for a wide angle 9mm fast f1.7 aperture lens. When I put this lens next to my Leica 15mm f1.7 lens, the 15mm Leica feels a little bit more premium. Not sure if it's because this new 9mm lens, it doesn't have an aperture ring or maybe the material that just feel a little bit more plasticky. But it doesn't mean the build quality of this new Leica lens is not good. The build quality of this lens is very good. For example, the focus ring feels very smooth. The lens has a metal lens mount. The letter 9mm here is engraved. It is a weather sealed lens and it comes with a removable reversible lens hood. And while the lens front element is slightly extruded, you still can use a 55 millimeter screwed in filter. So if you love good quality, compact, lightweight lens, you will love this Leica 9mm f1.7. Now, since it is a pretty wide angle lens, so it's very unlikely you'll be using this lens to shoot any sports or fast action. When I use this lens to shoot landscape or some everyday photos, the camera can just snap onto my subject pretty much immediately and autofocus is virtually silent. The minimum focus distance of this lens is only 9.5 cm. But since the lens itself, the length is approximately 6 cm. So it means when you are shooting something at the minimum focus distance, your subject is only a few centimeter in front of the lens. The problem with that is it could be hard to avoid casting shadow on your subject and also it may be a bit hard to light up your scene. 
But apart from that, this lens is pretty good for taking close-up photos. The maximum magnification ratio is 0 0.25 times or 0 0.5 times full frame equivalent. Look at my usual close-up Lego minifigure test photo and you can see my Lego minifigure is really big in this photo. The sharpness at f1.7 when shooting at the minimum focus distance is also pretty good but you probably need to stop down a bit anyway as the depth of field is really shallow at such close focus distance. And compared to the typical macro lens that usually has a longer focal length, one advantage using this 9mm Leica lens is that you have a much wider field of view. So if you want some really close up photos that include a bit more background to tell the story, this lens would allow you to do that. Now let's have a look at the image sharpness of this Leica 9mm f1.7 lens. If we look at the center of the photo, at f1.7, the image is already very sharp and I don't see any chromatic aberration at all. Because it is so sharp already at f1.7, so when you stop down the lens to f2 or f2.8, I can only see very minimal improvement in terms of center sharpness. The sharpness would start to drop from f11 onwards because of diffraction. And now let's look at the corner. At f1.7, the corner sharpness is acceptable. Corner sharpness becomes much better at f2.8 and maximum corner sharpness is at around f4 to f5.6. A 9mm wide angle lens usually is not going to give you much foreground background separation. So sometimes I may even skip the bokeh part of the review completely when I'm reviewing a wide angle lens. However, since this lens has very close minimum focus distance, so when you are shooting at close focus distance, you could dissolve the background quite a bit. You can get some nice smooth bokeh in the background. Bokeh balls remain run until stop down to f2.8. After that, the bokeh balls would start turn into polygon shape. With the profile correction enabled in Lightroom, the raw file has some noticeable but not serious vignetting at f1.7. At f2.8, it becomes better and at f4, it becomes really minor. In real life, only at f1.7, you may notice a bit of vignetting once you stop down the lens to f2.8, you won't really see much vignetting. This Leica 9mm lens has really good chromatic aberration control. Even the high contrast photos shot at f1.7, I don't really see too much color fringing. Look at this test photo. This is probably the worst example I have in terms of chromatic aberration as we have the sun directly behind some dark objects but the amount of color fringing is still not too bad at all. Most of my real world photos has way less chromatic aberration than that. With the lens profile correction enabled, the lens has a small amount of barrel distortion. However, when I disable the profile correction, there are now some pretty noticeable distortion. It is very easy to see in this brick wall sample photo. This is probably one of the biggest compromises the engineers has to make when designing such a fast, compact, wide-angle lens. Just like most other Leica Micro Four Third lenses, this Leica 9mm f1.7 lens also has excellent lens flare control. No matter when shooting at maximum aperture or stop down to f16, there is still quite small amount of lens flare. My nighttime testing also has very minimal amount of lens flare as well. Contrast also remains very good even when directly shooting into the sun or with the sun just outside the frame. So yeah, in terms of lens flare control, this Leica 9mm lens is really fantastic. If you love to have sun stars in your photo, you need to stop down the lens to f8 then you can start to see sun stars. When you stop down the lens to the minimum aperture f16, 
then you can see some pretty nice and sharp 14 points sun stars. A fast wide angle lens could be great for people who want to do some wide angle astrophotography. With this Leica 9mm lens, there is a bit of coma when shooting at the maximum aperture f1.7. When stop down the lens to f2.8, coma is much reduced so it shouldn't really be a problem anymore and if you stop down to f4 then there is virtually no coma visible. The 9mm Leica lens does not have any optical image stabilization so if you use it to shoot video you have to rely on the IBIS or gimbal to stabilize the video footage. But because of its pretty wide field of view I find it is okay to just rely on the IBIS to stabilize the video footage. The video footage I shot with just the GH6 looks reasonably stable no matter I'm just standing or when I was walking. The only thing you have to watch out is because it is quite a wide angle lens so there may be a bit of warping effect near the corner when your camera is shaking a little bit too much. But it is a lot better compared to the lower 6mm lens that I've reviewed recently also on the GH6. Focus breathing is extremely well controlled. If we look at this video footage when the focus is switching between approximately 1 meter and 15 meter, the focus breathing is almost unnoticeable. It is pretty impressive. Autofocus is very quiet as I've mentioned before. Even when shooting video indoor, you can barely hear any autofocus noise. This is a test footage I shot in this room and the audio is recorded using the built-in microphone on the GH6. Recording at f1.7 using the built-in microphone. If you want to manual focus instead, when using this lens with a late model Panasonic camera, for example the GH6 or the GH5 Mark II, you can choose between linear and non-linear manual focus mode and you can also set the focus rotation angle as well. So overall, this Leica 9mm lens is really great for video shooting. Reviewing this new Leica 9mm f1.7 lens really reminds me why I love the Micro Four First system. There are some high quality fast prime lenses that are super compact and lightweight. I remember for one of my holiday trip just before COVID, I left all my full frame cameras at home for that trip and just grabbed my G85 and a few Micro Four Third lenses because I can fit them all in a pretty small camera bag and that was fantastic. So I might do that again when I have the chance to have my next holiday trip. So anyway, this is exactly what this Leica 9mm lens is. It is very compact very lightweight and the image quality is also very decent overall. I was also really surprised by its close focus capability. I really wasn't expecting the lens can focus on subject that is almost touching the front element of this lens. And being a lens from Panasonic, I'm also not surprised it is a great lens for videographers as well. It has very quiet autofocus and there's virtually no focus breathing and the lens support both linear and non-linear manual focus mode with adjustable rotation angle. It is a lens that is great for vlogging as well as many other type of video shooting. Is there anything I don't like about this lens? Well, I really wish it has an aperture ring like most other Micro Four First Leica lenses and I wish the distortion is a little bit less when the profile correction was disabled. But the thing is, there are so many things that I really like about this lens so this one or two thing really are not going to stop me from enjoy shooting with this lens.